All right, our seventh and eighth grade science classes have decided that a normal pinata, boring. The candy falls out, yada yada. What's the fun in that? We decided to make one that explodes the candy through the air. And here are some of the designs that we started with. Here's some of our initial designs. Everyone came up with a design. This one has a gasoline tank in the middle. Scary. This one has a propane filled tank in the middle. Scary. A little bit too much of a boom there. Over here we have four quadrants of the heart. Each one has a container that would explode the candy. Possible. And then we have some more designs. All very well thought out. Beautiful examples of students' ingenuity. And this is the one right here that we decided on as a class. We thought it was the most doable, the most possible. And it looks like fun. It's the independent variable of what type of container should we use. And what type do we, of container did we decide on? We decided with the PVC pie because it's the most durable and we tried aluminum cans. And the firecracker just went through the sides of them, so we decided this was most durable. All right, cool. Let's get a close up. Whoa. All right, our next question was. What type of candy would be the best? And how do we decide that? We decided on Tootsie Rolls because they stayed in their wrappers and they flew the farthest. All right, the next independent variable we looked at was how many pieces of Tootsie Rolls should we use? And how did we, what did we decide? Well, we decided to use 30 pieces because, well, we tried a, some, like, with one container we tried 15 and the other container we tried 30. And it just, figured out that 30 would be the best because they still threw pretty or they still flew pretty far and they stayed in the wrapper. For the Valentine's Day we decided that a cupid with a heart and an arrow would be pretty sweet. So we came we rigged this up and uh we used a uh, fuse to light the heart on fire with gunpowder in the middle and a little bow right here. Pretty cool. This is what we decided to use. We thought that we would put the four cans here, and we didn't want the candy just to go straight down, so we wanted to, these two right here to go out, that way they wouldn't just fall down to the ground. We put the gunpowder right here, and we connected all the wicks. That way when the gunpowder ignited, it would light all the wicks, and it would light the fireworks, which would let the fireworks. So how is the gunpowder going to ignite? It will shoot the flaming arrow through this, and it'll hit that we got it through. Okay, so that is actually going to go on top? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to like glue this on top of it, and the arrow will shoot through that to the compact. Awesome. All right, here we have another design of a heart pinata. How did you guys do this one? Well, we started with water framing, and we put the wire through a crisscross pattern in the back. Then we put cardboard and placed our explosive things on it and put all of our cords into the middle. And we put a firework on the top. That way when we light the fuse, the gunpowder will light the fuses and candy goes everywhere. So how is the arrow going to get through the mesh? Well, we cut a hole in our mesh um, right here so that it can go right through and hit the gunpowder. But the flaming arrow will blow it all off. And all right, I can't oh. wait to see if it works. Okay, that needs to stop. It's going.
can definitely say this was a success. We have definitely just come up with a way to explode candy throughout the air, and it was fun.